Hello YouTube, another video by me, Everyday Oppression. Oh my god. <laughs> my god! Sue? What's that? Sue? I'm sorry, I, I didn't know this was gonna be happening today. I am, I am ecstatic to be a part of this. That's it? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, uh, it's been a little bit of a while, about a week since my last video. Uh, I did a series based on the Blair White and Candace Owens live debate. Uh, I had to break it down into much more videos because of the, the extension of how long the video actually went to. <laughs> If any of you actually watched all six parts of that uh, commentary series, I thank you. On to more important things. So uh, this video is going to be probably one or two days late uh, from when I'm airing it, but I just wanted to say November 19th, happy International Men's Day. As you know, I am egalitarian and I approve of men's rights movement. Uh, I do approve of women's rights movement, but not so much of a feministic nature. If you know what I mean. I just want to celebrate all good men, uh, fathers uh, who support their children, support their spouses. I want to celebrate all kinds of men. I want to celebrate straight men. I want to celebrate white men. I want to celebrate black men and fathers and stepfathers. I want to celebrate gay men. I want to celebrate bi men. I want to celebrate everything that is masculine. And you know what? There's not enough positivity, uh, positive messages that is given to a lot of men. So as I'm sure you all know, anytime there's a day that's focusing strictly on men and either the accomplishments of men, uh, the virtues of men, or the struggles and issues that men face, count on a feminist or two to destroy that. Yep, if you go onto Twitter right now, uh, they had a whole bunch of hashtags, International Men's Day. So what I really like seeing is a lot of men and women, uh, kind of from both sides of the political spectrum, but mostly in the you know conservative side of it. They are celebrating men. They are bringing awareness to everything that we are suffering, uh, the high suicide rates, the... Uh, the high death rates in work-related environments, the high homelessness, which are men, uh, gay rights still, uh, and all that jazz. So I find it's really great. I'm really, really happy in seeing people take notice and celebrating what it is to be masculine. Now, on the other side of that coin, we have fucking... Uh, we have a whole bunch of feminists, uh, whining, cringy babies, women who are thinking that, like... Oh, why does uh, International Men's Day need to be a thing? Because every day is a man's day. Like, you cannot be that delusional. Really? Every day is essentially a man day, yes. But every day is essentially a woman's day as well. We both, we both uh, live together and we both have to deal with each other and we both have to live beside one another and try and help each other as much as we can. So for all these feminists to just shit on men and talk about toxic masculinity is just, it hurts my brain, guys. I do want to focus on the idea that being a man is not a bad thing, okay? So this, I'm, this video is just going to be talking about the concept of toxic masculinity and whether or not masculinity is in fact inherently 
toxic. In the short version of this, I'm just going to say toxic masculinity. It's not really a thing. Now, I understand uh, some viewpoints of feminist uh, garble saying that toxic masculinity does not represent all men and that they know that there are good aspects of men, but it's the toxic masculinities or the bad aspects of uh, men that they want to squish. They want to, you know, destroy just like the so-called patriarchy meant to oppress them. But the fact is, is that masculinity isn't toxic. Like not, it's not inherently toxic, but when they have this rhetoric to discuss this manner, they always overgeneralize and they always look over the fact that how they're sounding and coming off is attacking all men. They're assuming that masculinity is a toxic characteristic for men. And the fact is that's further from the truth. The way I could describe masculinity versus femininity is that masculinity to be masculine was to be judged based on your deeds, based on your actions and based on your ideas. Whereas women with the act of femininity, um, unfortunately, and I can understand where women get kind of frustrated with this, is that traditionally femininity was based on giving birth to the next generation. The main differences between men and women is that men cannot give birth to children, whereas women can. Our bodies are different, our genitalia are different, our very minds are different as well. So because we have this slight variation, even though we're part of the human race, uh, this slight variation will affect the way that we see the world, affect the way that we walk through the world, uh, and the difference of emotions that we possess in this world. Femininity has its good points as well as its bad points. Masculinity also has its good points as well as some bad points. But to classify that all masculinity is toxic by nature is just, it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. So I tend to not listen to a lot of feminist rhetoric about this. Uh, the feminism ideology wants to tackle toxic masculinity while stamping on the rights of men, uh, the rights of fathers, uh, straight men as well, heterosexuality. They attack white men uh, predominantly, thinking that they run the world, which in today's society, we don't really see that anymore. It might have been true in the past, possibly, but there are different societies in the world that are run by different kinds of men. So we have you know, westernized cultures, uh, societies that are run mostly by white men because these are societies that were built by white men. Uh, in Asian countries like Japan or the Philippines or China, you're gonna see a lot of Chinese men ruling those societies. Uh, and the same thing in European nations, like because it's a smorgasbord of different nationalities, uh, German, Polish, French, uh, Scandinavian countries, you know, all these types of countries and worlds are run by their associated populace. It would make sense. Africa, for instance, the leadership is run by black African men. Like it just, so this, this attack on white men, particularly in the Western society, as if it's bad or if it's toxic, it's just really remarkable to me. Okay. But here, the main, the main difference in Westernized cultures is that we actually have diversity. We actually allow immigrants to come in, people of different walks of life, different religions, different skin color, different nations, and they can come in and they have the opportunity to pursue these roles in order to become leaders, in order to become successful, in order to have the same equal rights that our white forefathers have, have built for us. Like, and these feminists and SJWs just want to shit all over that. You know, I get it. You feminists are just man hating. You, you're either jealous of men and what we possess. You're jealous of the fact that really it was men who helped create the world that you live in. It was men who helped build the laws to find justice and order amongst all the chaos. It was men who built these civilizations for you. Whereas all you had to do was just show up looking good. Th that might offend some women who are watching this, but I'm not meaning it to be offensive. I'm just stating a fact. The differences between masculinity and femininity was masculinity was based on the actions and the deeds of men to be successful, to be leaders, and women, your importance was to continue 
offspring to continue the human race. You were there. You had the essential body parts needed for the continuation of our species. Okay. And that's, that's just the cards that we're dealt. Now back to this idea of toxic masculinity. Femininity is, it can very much be toxic as well. And I find it very interesting how it's okay to talk about toxic masculinity, but it's not so much okay to talk about toxic femininity. I remember last year I had flown out to Vancouver uh, in British Columbia, Canada to watch Karen Strawn have a talk, uh, an event all around this topic. Her event was called Toxic Masculinity and Toxic Femininity. And she wanted to tackle both ideas. The talk was actually almost shut down by one of the universities um, in, in Vancouver because it was deemed wrong think, not equal or misogyny, you know, towards uh, women. But here you had a woman who was talking about both toxic masculinity as well as toxic femininity. And here you had women trying to shut her down. So it was actually a really good experience, guys. I went there for a weekend. It was my very first time in Vancouver. I met a lot of cool, uh, cool people. Uh, people showed me around Vancouver, like Gastown and all that. Um, and I heard a lot of talks, not only about Karen's uh, masculinity and femininity talk, which was the main purpose of my trip, but I got to go to a libertarian event too, where I got different ideas uh, from different people and we got to debate about certain things. I actually made it into a video uh, being, you know, kind of interviewed there for a bit. So that was pretty cool. But I'm getting off topic here, guys. To all the men out there, I celebrate you. I, I love straight men. I love white men. I love all type of men. And I love the... <sighs> The greatest attraction in a man is that they are content with their accomplishments and they understand their flaws and they still push on, you know, like, cause we're all human. We will make mistakes along the way. And yes, we will do well, uh, by either ourselves or by others. And that is a deeming quality of masculinity. Men do things and men can get them done. Now, thankfully, we live in a society where women are, are now, you know, getting up to par with getting things done. And I, and I love that. I love that about women. I love that about empowered women, not so much feminist women, because you still don't get it. Okay. You, st you just still don't get it yet. When you're a feminist, all you are doing is slamming men using sexist terminology against men, like mansplaining, manslamming. Uh, you, you, you are fighting sexism with even more sexism. And you think that's going to solve everyone's problem, but it doesn't. And I also dislike the fact that you are slamming men who are coming forward uh, with these tales, these experiences of feeling discrimination, of feeling sexism, of being abused by their partners or by female coworkers. You know, like they are coming forward. The whole uh, hashtag me too thing was a kerfuffle. Like that was, that just blew up. It's funny how the Me Too hashtag was supposed to bring awareness to people who were uh, violated against their consent or sexually molested and or raped and that men jumped in on the Me Too about their personal experiences and then we had all these feminist women slamming them down. Like, you women don't get it, okay? The more that you shit on men, the more that men will shit on you. The more that you attack them for simply being men, and thinking you can get away with criticizing their masculinity without any return criticism on femininity, you're, you're creating divisiveness between the genders where we're meant to complement one another, right? Like, even though I am LGBT, I am a minority and I should be siding with the feminist side because, you know, intersectionality and inclusiveness and everyone's accepted bullshit. So why did I you know, veer away from that movement. Why do I reject feminism ideology? It's because it's a victimhood narrative and I cannot stand the victimhood narrative. I can't stand the hypocrisy. I can't stand the double standards and I can't stand the amount of projection, uh, deflection 
an open hate they have towards men. And they hate all masculinity. And I think secretly they do this because they fear masculinity or they're jealous of it. See, it's great being a guy. It's great being male. It's great having people look at you uh, with some respect, with some form of respect for simply being you, right? Maybe it's male privilege or maybe it's just something that men possess that women don't. So I can understand women having to work a bit harder to gain that same sort of uh, level of privilege. I get it. But in past historical events, women just had to show up to the party. And if you look good, and if you could produce offspring, all the work's done for you. You know, men have had to work day and night to build civilization. We have been forced into wars and die on the battlefield in order to protect human rights, to protect the rights of our families, to protect the rights of other citizens, of perfect strangers. Okay. Men have sacrificed ourselves for that. Now, in today's society, we don't really have to do that anymore. Some of it is, uh, you know, voluntary people who want to go into the military or the Navy to help protect these rights, right? These rights, which are afforded to people like me, who doesn't go to the military, who doesn't fight in the Navy, and I get to enjoy those rights. But you know what? I show appreciation for those soldiers. I show appreciation for veterans. I show appreciation for cops, for governmental officials who are doing their best to allow me to, to enjoy my rights without ever lifting a finger. So I thank you men for being men. I love your masculinity. I love your maleness. I love, I love everything about you guys. And yes, there are some people who might be, you know, ideologically against me or my sexuality or my effeminate features. I get that. I do. But I still appreciate you. I still appreciate the fact that you're male and that somewhere in that world of yours that you're doing your best to make it. You're doing your best to, to listen and to learn just like the rest of us. I mean, we're all human, aren't we? So this day is for you guys, International Men's Day. Don't let the haters hate on you. Stand up for your rights and stand up for when you have issues. There are people out there listening and it's not just not just the anti-feminists or the non-feminist women out there. There are minority groups who are listening to you. We are supportive of you. We love you for who you are. All those haters, well, they're just gonna, they're just gonna deflect. And they're gonna hate no matter what we say or do. So really, let's have our fun with them and let's prove them wrong, shall we? Toxic masculinity is not a one-way street. There's toxic femininity as well. Now let's remember that. All right, guys, uh, I, I will have another video here pretty quickly. Uh, I'm hoping to push out some gay-related stuff uh, and also Hollywood-related stuff as well. So again, congratulations, men. You do so well and we love you. Thank you for being masculine and thank you for being men. To everyone else, I hope you take care of one another. Uh, we're going to need each other in the long run. So, uh, and I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you all next time. Ciao. What makes a man? Is it the power in his hands? Is it his quest for glory? Give it all you got to, to fight to the top.